Hey everyone, it's Baltage Gill, the internet marketing guy, and welcome to my show, the place where you'll figure out what internet marketing is all about. Um, I know that's a corny little line, uh, it's kind of cheesy, but that's the best I can think of right now. So, until I figure out something more creative to start my videos with, that's probably what I'm going to stick with. Um, so, let's get right to it, and today's first question comes from... Well, I, I, I think this is what most people um, want to know is, how do I get to page one of Google? Or, in other words, if you sell a product or a service and you have a, a, a website, how do you increase your visibility? So when somebody Googles in your the, the name of your what you do to make sure you're on page one of Google. So to understand this, um, there are different factors involved. And I'm going to go over the very high-level factors as to where your keyword phrases should be placed to let Google know what your website is talking about. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there's first of all, every single website you're able to define three tags: a title tag, a description tag, and um, a keywords tag, which tells you what that web page is about. So, for example, if I'm a, 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 a lawyer in Toronto, you know, I'd want to make sure a lawyer in Toronto is inside my title, my description, and my keywords. Um, I have a physic book beside me. Don't ask me why, but basically, if if you Hopefully this comes on the screen, okay? But basically, think of your title tag being like the title of a book and the description being that little blurb at the back and the keywords you can't really see, but that's kind of what you'd want to visualize the title and the description being. And I'll show you a live example of what that looks like on the web. But you want to make sure that your keyword phrases are in your title, descriptions, and keywords. Um, Next is your domain name, your URL. If I had the domain name uh, lawyerintoronto.com, without even going to my website, it's already telling everybody that's what I do. So it's very important if you could get your keyword phrase inside your domain name. The problem is most domain names are already taken. They actually say every word in the English dictionary has a .com to the end of it. And uh, especially if you have a company name or a branded name, you don't probably want to necessarily always have your keyword phrase as part of your domain name. So there's other ways you could still make sure your keyword phrase does become part of your domain name, and that's by naming your pages or your subfolders or um, and so forth. So for example, it could be www voltage.com forward slash lawyer in Toronto and now I have my keyword phrase in part of my uh, URL um, the next factor the search engines take a look at is an h1 tag this is pretty much called a header tag this really describes um, what that page is about it's kind of like the title of the article so again I'll go back to this book here so remember title tag description tag and let me just open up oops let me close this um, okay, right over here. So, what is acceleration? And hopefully, I, I can't see myself recording right now, so hopefully this is coming on the screen the way I'd like it to, but this is actually the title of this article on this, on this book. So that would be your H1 header tag, which describes what that page is about. So it's important that your keyword phrase is also in there. Um, Next in your body tag, this is what this basically means is inside the content of your your actual copy of your website. Um, so you obviously want to make sure that the phrase "lawyer in Toronto," if that's the phrase you want to go for, is inside your content. Now, just like uh, human beings, Google leaves reads from uh, top to bottom to left to right. So if your keyword phrase is all the way at the bottom of the page, that's probably telling the search engines, you know what, it's not that important. So the closer you can get it to the top, um, primarily we, we like to say the first sentence. If you could have your keyword phrase in there, that is ideal. That's the best location you could actually put it. And then of course, or, or in the first paragraph. Now that's not the only place you should also put it. Um, you should also scatter it through your content as well. Um, the next thing, uh, also another factor, is internal links. The way uh, your your pages all link to each other, the the you know when you mouse over and the area you click on, that is the hyperlink. The words you use to link to another page, it's called internal linking. If it's going from one web page to another web page inside your website, and again, it's important that you have your keyword phrase in there. What I'll do is I'll actually show you a visual of all this stuff so you guys can see it. But at the same time, it's just as important internal links are um, incoming links from the World Wide Web. So you'd want to make sure that other um, websites out there are linking back to your website with your keyword phrase, which tells Google, of course, what your website's about. 
and then there's something called the alt tag and, and, and again this is pretty much used for pictures so if you have any images you know when you mouse over and you get that little yellow bubble that pops up that shows you what that picture is about if your keyword phrase is in there I, I, I mean these are all bonus items I, I'm, I'm not saying if you just simply put your keyword phrase in your alt tag you're going to be on page one of Google remember all these things I'm listing here they're just factors and points um, the, the more you do of all this the higher likely or probability you will be on page one and then of course to just kind of summarize it all up um, if you you know bold some of your keyword phrases or make them strong or bigger and so forth it kind of tells the search engines again that that phrase or that word is important to your your website so let's take a look here so let me just actually open up a browser and I'll show you exactly how how all these tags work um, so let's Google I'm just gonna type in internet marketing for example Okay, so the first, okay, we'll use Wikipedia as the example. Um, so you can see Wikipedia comes up number one. Um, the, the area that I'm highlighting right now, this is called the title tag. This is what we talked about. We could define and take a look at what Wikipedia did. The term internet marketing is right at the beginning of their title tag. Very important. Most people always, always put their company name at the beginning or they put home, about us, products, which people don't search for. So it's important that you put in your keyword phrase. Um, this little blurb you see underneath, this is called the description tag. And again, take a look at this. They have the word internet marketing right in the description. In fact, it's the first part of their description. And remember, we talked about their domain name. So now you have wikipedia.org forward slash wiki forward slash internet marketing. Now their page name also has the term internet marketing. So not only does Wikipedia have it in their title tag, their description tag, their URL, let's keep taking a look at where else they have it. If I actually click on their website itself, and here, it, here it's loading. Um, here's the web copy, and you can see the title, the article is called Internet Marketing. Now, this is in a H1 header tag, and the way I know that is already kind of done some background research. But if you want to find out on your own website, if you do have an H1 header tag and if you're using it properly, there's a simple way you could do so. You could just right click anywhere on the page and go to View Source, and all this uh, spaghetti code should come up. Um, I just push Control F for Find, or you could go to Edit Find and search for the words H1. Um, and then you could see over here that um, let me just make this a little bit bigger. So they do have a head, header one tag, and the phrase inside all this coding is the word Internet Marketing. And on the visually, this is where it looks like on the page itself. So now they also have in their header tag. Now again, let's keep going. Remember we talked about where you place it in your keyword phrase, um, sorry, in your copy. You can see the term Internet Marketing is in the first sentence of their web copy. So again, they got it in their title, they got it in their description, they got it in their domain name, they have it in their H1 header tag, they have it in their first sentence, I mean it's bolded. Um, um, and, and, and then again, this is the perfect way you could describe where to place your keyword phrases. Wikipedia does a great job. And remember, we talked about in, in terms of internal linking. Um, I'll use another example here. Let me just again zoom in. Um, customer engagement. Let's just say this is your phrase. You can see when I mouse over this uh, word over here, it's actually a hyperlink. And again, they're hyperlinking to the customer engagement phrase, sorry, uh, page with the term customer engagement. So if I click on this, Again, now you're having customer engagement um, inside the URL, you're having it over here in the title, you're having it here in the H1 header tag, you're having it in the first sentence, and there's internal pages in the website that are linking back to this page with the term um, customer engagement. So there you have it, folks. Um, that basically tells you where to place your keyword phrases. Um, and again, if you do all this, if you make sure your phrases are in the right places inside your web copy, um, that will increase the likelihood of you being on page one of Google. So again, just very high level of to summarize. Let me just go back to my presentation over here. If you want to be on page one of Google, you you want to make sure your keyword phrase again. So if I'm let's just use another example. If I'm a dentist in uh, Chicago, I'd want to make sure that the term dentist in Chicago is inside my title tag, my description tag, my keywords tag. If I can't get dentist in, in Chicago.com, then you want to make sure it's part of your page name. Um, it's part of your header tag, your H1 tag that describes what that page is about or the article. It's inside your content and it should be in your first sentence. Um, we often actually get the, uh, asked how many times should it be placed. 
Google, that's called keyword density, by the way. How many times should your keyword phrase be placed throughout the copy of your website? Um, Google likes 1% to 3%. Yahoo and Bing, they're a little bit more lenient. But I mean, I wouldn't even bother doing the math. At the end of the day, read your copy out loud. If it sounds like you're repeating your keyword phrase too many times, you're probably spamming. And it's probably raised a flag against Google anyways. So if I have, hey, I'm Voltage Girl, I'm a dentist in Chicago. And if you're looking for a dentist in Chicago, you came to the right place because I'm a dentist in Chicago. So, I mean, if that's what your copy is sounding like, you're probably spamming the search engines know it, so stay away from that. Um, internal links, making sure your page is all linked to each other. Um, incoming links, um, you know, getting other people to link to you. And, of course, you know, using bold, strong, and some of the other factors here I mentioned as well. So hopefully that answers your questions. Thanks a lot for joining today's show. Leave your comments and your questions below, and I'd be more than happy to address it. Thanks again. Bye, everyone.